Crisis of Norwich filed for bankruptcy a few years ago after alleged abuse of students. And now to pay and resolve those lawsuits, they're planning to sell St. Bernard's School. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski spoke with a former student to get his reaction. Yeah, the news comes as a shock. I spoke with one alum who says it's sad and disappointing that the students now won't get the opportunities that he did. I graduated St. Bernard in 2010. Colin Ahern says there was always a strong sense of community at St. Bernard School in Uncasville. A lot of the faculty and teachers and staff that were there um, played a big role in forming me into who I am. Out of nowhere, alumni received an email from the headmaster Wednesday. The Diocese of Norwich had decided to um, sell the school. July of 2021, the Norwich Diocese declared bankruptcy after multiple lawsuits filed against the diocese for several incidents of alleged abuse, which happened over 20 years ago at Mount St. John School in Deep River. The victims were between 10 and 15 years old. A release sent out from Headmaster Don Macrino says, in part, despite this concerning news, we are committed to the preservation of St. Bernard's School and its profound educational, social, and spiritual impact upon Eastern Connecticut. Now, questions loom overhead. What does this mean for the school? Is the school going to have to close? Are they going to be able to uh, keep the school running? It's really important to a lot of people. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just as heart-wrenching. Colin says he plans to stand behind the school. The board of the school, the faculty, the headmaster, they all have the support of the alumni to try to keep the school open. You know, the diocese made this decision because of the bankruptcy, but, you know, I think that the, the faculty and the staff and the board of the school is trying to do everything they can to keep it open, and the alumni, myself included, will do whatever we can to help. And the diocese plan was just submitted. We'll be following along on this story. Reporting in Montfield tonight, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Eliza, thank you.